So this is going to be Teependale's response to childhood tag. So let's get started. What group or singer or band do you miss from your childhood? I would have to say Michael Jackson. Definitely Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was that dude. He was. Actually, he still is my favorite singer. My fact. Um, no, no, definitely, you know, that was my favorite singer, and still is, he's up with crush on him, definitely, I don't know where I got it from, I know I used to, like, listen to him when I was little, and stuff like that, so, I don't know who put me on, I asked my parents, they're like, I don't know, you just kind of picked it up, so I had good taste in music since I was little, yay, go me, <laughs> um, what was your favorite childhood movie? It's like a tie between We're Back, Oliver and Company, and The Aristocats. But out of all of them, I would have to say uh, probably Oliver and Company. Definitely Oliver and Company. Um, yeah, Oliver and Company. That movie was just awesome. Sing was cool too. <laughs> All right. Um. What was your favorite childhood show? My favorite childhood show was All That and the Rugrats. Tommy was that dude, and All That was just funny. He had a bunch of skits and everything, and making fun of spoofs and everything of like commercials and stuff like that. That was my. That was like yeah, man. Definitely, I always. Maybe that's inspiration for some of my YouTube stuff. I guess a little bit. I guess. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, next one. What was your favorite childhood song? Well, since my favorite singer was Michael Jackson, my favorite song would have to be Thriller. I know, you're like, oh, that's cliche. Almost everybody's favorite one is Thriller. But, I had others. I definitely had others. But, um, I, I learned all the dance moves to Thriller. Definitely. I... Press replay, record, you know, we had the VHS thing, so psh, rewind the junk, and everything, press play, do it over and over again. I'm sure that tape is tired out. I know it has to be. Um, who was, what's that one thing you still wish was wrong from your childhood? My, I have to say my friends. My friends, because you know, ain't nothing like your first friends when you were little and everything like that. Like, I drew back and drawn like that, like, a hey, little, they knew everything. Well, I guess what your now friends don't know, unless your now friends are the little friends, then guess what, you're lucky. Um, but I don't, I miss them, because I moved, I moved, like, definitely, like, seven years ago, so, I miss them. But, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. What was your favorite childhood dance? Well, I guess I just gave that one away in one of my other questions. Um, bow. I guess I could choose one besides Thriller Dance. Um, I used to like the Crip Walk. <laughs> I was like, yeah, definitely Crip Walk. I like the Crip Walk a whole lot. Definitely. I thought it was so cool. Okay, um, what was your favorite childhood slang? Psych was my favorite childhood. A slang that was so crazy. You play, hey, hey, someone's behind you. Sigh, I got you. Sigh, sigh. Ah, and now that I think about it, man, we out, we out play that word. We abused that word so much back in the day. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, definitely abused those back in the day. Um, uh, is that the only one? Yeah. I definitely abuse that like psych I got you. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> um what's one thing you still have from your childhood? Um, I would probably have to say my heart. Like sometimes I'm a kid at heart. Like I am. Sometimes when it needs to come out, I guess. Like doing creativity process, I need my child's mind of not my child. I don't have any kids, but um, my mindset back in the day. I still had a kid at heart. That's how I know I'd have fun and do all these things, come up with all this creativity. I was really creative back in the day. So, 
you know that's what I got I still have that um did you have an invisible friend I did not I tried I was like hey how you doing no no and then uh, it, it didn't work out and I felt super slow talking to myself which you know it's not pretty different from what I'm doing now nope um but besides that not no I had regular friends uh, and every time I think about an invisible friend I think back to Toby and uh, Paranormal Activity 3 and I'm like uh, I really didn't want one I really don't want one <laughs> so if I ever have kids if they be talking about I'm talking to my invisible friend I'm like Stop playing. I saw this movie. Your mom saw this movie back in the day. The Planet about 53. I don't feel comfortable. Is he in his room now? I mean, is he chilling? I mean, I don't feel comfortable. Don't do that. I'll be like, get some real friends. You're scaring me a little. I don't need. I mean, I'm cool with it. He's he real. He just. What? And. Hmm, just saying. The movie just creeped me out. Okay, um. What was your favorite toy? I used to have a little uh, toy. Um, I used to call him doggies about this, like this big, just like that. I guess you get him a Happy Meal at McDonald's. I don't know. Back in the day, um, um, that was my favorite little toy. I loved him. I took him everywhere. I'm surprised I didn't lose him until like recently. I guess some years ago. Um, but yes, um, that was my favorite, favorite, favorite toy. Um. Like one time, I took him over to my cousin's house, and he was so little. Uh, we had a ceiling fan, so we tied him up to the ceiling fan, and we put that junk on full blast. But when he flew off, I was like, "Oh!" I was like, "Oh, we had to! Oh my gosh, let's do it again!" And we did that a couple times. He was pretty abused back in the day. Um, I don't know where he's at right now. If, if I could find him, I'd probably put him on my keychain because that was my favorite toy back in the day. And, you know, big toys. I just like the little one from McDonald's because he was. Too adorable back in the 90s. Um, what was your best school subject? English. English was definitely my best school subject for the fact when I was little, I wanted to be a writer, a scary story writer. And I would write all the time, write all the time. And, um, psh, yep. So, and now I'm like into some poetry and I like to freestyle from time to time with my friends. Um, so, yeah, definitely English. I made A's all the time. Beast of English. Loved English to death. Um, so definitely English. Yeah. What was your worst school subject? Math. Math and chemistry. Especially when you're in chemistry honors. Oh my. I don't know how I passed any of those classes. I don't even know how I graduated with honors and a 4.3. Wow. They must have liked me. <laughs> the teachers must have liked me. I guess because I was always a quiet kid. You did my work. I'm like, ah. I guess they're like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to Um, <laughs> but uh, definitely that was really some hard subjects and I never could get it. I'm like, like, oh, you study for math. How do you study math? I'm just going to study numbers. You got Y and X's and parentheses and two to the second. Um, yeah. And then I was like, yeah, yeah. We still don't use that in the real world. It's like we don't use cursive except for our names. What am I going to go about chemistry? What am I supposed to do? Yeah, chemistry. I don't use that in the real world. I, mean, I know not to mix chemicals. Anyways, um... Where did you go for your first holiday? I think I went to my grandma's house. Cause I mean, grandma's house was fun. I mean, what? Get that home, old school cooking, soul food. <sighs> Delicious, oh my gosh. I mean, for real, grandma's cooking, old school cooking. So you know I had to go with that. Um, so definitely, yeah, I think that was my first vacation. Holiday, yeah. Um. How did you find out 
Father Christmas isn't real. Wasn't real. Uh, I don't know. I guess. You know, you always have them kids, but he's not real. I'm like, ah, yeah, he is. No, maybe. And then, I don't know. I was, I was, if I was smart, I would have stayed up and be like, oh, let's see what y'all doing. Ooh, daddy. No, you and mommy, what y'all doing? Um, but, uh, nah, I didn't. Nope. It took me a minute. It's like, it's like, I pour the point where the parents be like, What you want for Christmas, man? Just, just tell us what you want. Like, oh, dang. Cause, all right. I guess I was, mm, that's cool to know. Whatever. I guess they want some credit for themselves. Like, oh, we do this for you. Burn it for you. No. Um, <laughs> something like that. Um, next one. What group of crowd were you in high school? I was in no group. There was not, matter of fact, there wasn't even a popular group. There wasn't even no bullies. Well, actually, well, you know what? I guess the only popular people, I guess, would have to be like, probably like the athletes, the jocks, maybe. I guess. Yes, they were considered the popular ones. I don't know. Um, I did hang with the people that picked on people. Like I thought that was kind of messed up. I thought that was pretty mean. Cause I'd be chilling with the people that be picking on. Like dang, I mean that's really necessary. That's how you feel. Ugh. But um, nah. I wasn't in a group. I was cool with the Spanish. I was cool with the Asians. I was cool with like. The whole ethnicity and the whole whatever group they were in. I got the funny people. I got that athlete friend. Them. I don't think I have no athlete friend. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. So I I was friends with everybody in each specific group. I guess you could say. Um, pretty cool friends. I had a, I kept a tight circle. I didn't want to be like ah. Man. I was really shy back in high school, so that's what happens. And now I'm more outgoing and stuff, and it's too late to be outgoing. It's too late. I'm just playing. It's never too late. But um, so I got all my shyness, so it's pretty cool. Um, well, I guess that's the end of the questions. Uh, so now y'all know a little bit more about me and my childhood, and uh. I guess I'll see y'all later. See y'all later. Can't, but y'all can't see me. I can't see you. you see oh, y'all. That made sense in my mind when I said it at the last minute. Um, but yeah. So, oh, I gotta go make some YouTube videos and whatnot. Yeah. Mind of sway. Mind of sway. I'm sway. Um, but yeah. But I enjoy making this and I enjoy T. Pendel's version of it too. So, uh, I have fun. And T. Pendel, you're pretty funny. Nah, you're real funny. I was being nonchalant. Um, anyways. Yeah, so. I have fun making this and that's it. I will... I was about to say it over again, but I'm not going to say it. So I'm just going to end the video like this because I'm rambling and I'm going on. Alright. Bye, you guys.